Hey guys, it's Paul, Happy Me Golf. I want to show you a quick new feature, and it is, you'll see from the title, how to see how many miles you have travelled playing golf. So if I go to the players, I'll pick Andrew Johnson, who's been to 400 clubs, 462 different courses played. And here, if you click, it says how far has he played. And the answer is 151,413 miles. So what that does is takes the mileage from his home course and then shows every single course he's played how far away that course is from his home course, which is obviously 401. Now, this obviously just means you've played it once uh, and it's pinged it once. You've gone there and back once. Obviously, you'll go on trips and you do five courses at once. But this is how far it's all the different courses away from your home course. And I'll show you how easy it is to track your stats. What you need to do is you need to have a Happy Me Golf account, which is free to join. You can log in, sign up, it's free. Uh, hit sign up. I'll show you through the sign up process. Um, put in your name, your nickname, whatever you want to put in. Find a username that's available. I'll put Paul. Well, Paul's available. Um, I'll put in my email or an email uh, that I can test on. Put a password in, match the password. Uh, read the privacy. It's literally me. I own Appy Me Golf. There's no big companies involved. I will not sell your data. I will not um, use any of your data for any other purpose than to make Happy Me Golf better. So if I'm tracking what you're clicking on, it's I'm looking for errors. I'm looking to see where people are getting stuck. Uh, so any tracking is to make the site better. Add the Happy Me newsletter if you want. If you don't want to. I'll be honest, I've never sent a newsletter out yet. I will be sending a newsletter out, but it's not something you're going to get loads of newsletters. You'll get an email from Team Happy Me. This is one I tested earlier, I believe. Uh, there we go. Team Happy Me, confirm your... Confirmed your email. Sorry, I'd stop that. I'm going to have to blur that out, what's in the side there. Um, what have I just signed up as? Oh, Paul, log in as Paul. Put your password in. Remember, if you want... And that will log you in as you. And you're now away. Uh, and obviously you've got no courses. And your map isn't going to map to anything. So firstly, let's just map some courses that we've played. The easiest way to do it is go to this bulk add. And then maybe I'm in Doncaster. Type in Doncaster. There's one in. There's a Doncaster in Australia. So I'm just going to filter to England as well. And then I can quickly say I've played all these courses in Donny. Uh, except Stillby Park, which I haven't. Uh, and save. And if I want to do that again, bulk add list. There's lots of different ways to get to places. I've played in Bermuda. I filter to here. I've played all these courses in Bermuda. So when you save uh, this, it'll go back to your map. You see how your map's now populating. And my fingers a little bit slow down, map. So I can see the courses in Bermuda that I've played. What you can do is, uh, if you're not sure, you can't remember exactly, you might want to zoom in to Doncaster and go, I've played courses, but I can't remember the names of them. If you go here and toggle courses, this is your map with the um, Happy Me pins. And then if you show, show all courses, you might go, uh, oh, what's this one? I played over here, but I can't remember the name of it. Or it's, it's Elsham Golf Club. Log your visit, it'll take you to the golf club page. If there's a few courses at that place, it'll offer you them. Quick save, different way to find stuff. But ultimately, when you come back to your profile now, 18 courses in two countries. And when I go how far I've played, again, it isn't showing because you're yet to set a home course. My own course is Oston Hall. Bang, save it. And it will calculate that you have traveled 23,000 903 miles and here are the all the courses that are in how far away order uh, by the the uh, the most the furthest away is at the top so the Bermudas at the top home course is at the bottom that is how to find out how many miles you have traveled individually to a course if you have all your out rounds in happy me <clears throat> golf maybe maybe eventually we'll we'll say You've been to this course 10 times. You've been to this course 20 times. So the actual travel is more. But I think you get the gist. It's just if you were to fly 
as the crow flies from your home course to every other course that you've played. This is how far. Uh, if you then want to rank those courses, here's another thing that's been added. All those courses are below. So we can drag them up here and rank them. So you don't have to worry in what order you do it to start. You can always change the order. But as you drag up your courses and save, we will get a, a one to five. If you want to say, no, that one's better than that one. This one's better than that one. Oh, I've not ranked this one yet. It's not in my top 10. This one's in my top 10. You might um, you might want to do this mid so you can filter down to what you're missing. Put that in. So that's my favorite course I've ever played. And that is a ranking of the courses you've played. That is your ranking order. Stuff like that. More and more coming. More and more Happy Me stuff to come. Happy Me Golf. Um, some new things you can edit. You can add your profile picture. Maybe I'll make this a little bit more obvious. You can go here. Um, Snick my England flag profile. Adds your profile. What else is new? Um, fine courses. There's not much else on that. You go to your round. So this is the rounds. If you want to edit the rounds, if you want to say you played Crook Hill and um, you want to add a score, uh, you might actually, actually I've, not, this, I've not done this uh, the right way around yet. I need, if you want to add a scorecard, uh, you have to add all the pars. I haven't got the course data yet, uh, so we have to start adding courses ourselves. And then if you if you did uh, the um, oh, 45, that might be a bit much. I'm just doing this to show you what will show up. If you add a scorecard, it will give you the bogeys and things like that. When you go to Crook Hill, um, it should. No rounds. Oh, I tell you what, so uh, 48, 93, uh, 93 scored. So if I edit the round, uh, course, par, oh, I don't know, 100. Uh, score was 93. Update. Oh, I tell you what you need to do. You need to um, uh, da -da -da, add a date on it. That's probably why. Today. Update. This is because we came in by the quick. And there we go. So when you go to Crook Hill, um, and if you've played lots of rounds, if you do another one, if you go um, quick add play, Crook Hill, uh, Crook Hill, Crook Hill Park, played again today, I put yesterday, this doesn't matter, this doesn't matter, but you can put it in. And again, when uh, when you go to this one, add a score, uh, da, 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 da. we need to do this faster. I'll find a way out to get the data in, and again. And again, a part of it all, like Nick Faldo in the open. Update score. Now, all fours, but when you go to Crook Hill, both your scores. So as you put more and more scores in, you'll be able to see a map of, of what courses or what holes you're struggling on or where you're losing shots or where you're gaining shots, things like that. So there's lots more to come. There's lots more features to come. And let me know in the comments what more you want, and I will certainly try to add it the best I can. But, uh, yeah, that is how to see how far away you are. Here's the map of where you've played. And here is how far away you've played golf. Makes sense. Just an extra feature. I don't know if it's cool or not. I kind of liked it. Knight likes to see where everybody's played and how far from home that is. Uh, dive in. Join up. It's free. It's 100% free to join. Uh, and I expect it always will be. Thanks for uh, watching. See you all again soon. Paul, happy me golf. Out.